Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today we are on day 14 of our draw something from a jar thing. And today our thing to draw, don't be the blank, don't be the blank, don't be the blank. Oh my, is an orangutan. 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 Wow. Okay. Well, here we are. And here is our reference for the day. We're drawing two today because... I don't know why, because I decided today, I don't know why, but it's exciting, it's exciting. Let's see what we come up with for the day. So I think I'll start with the quick gesture drawing, capture some of these uh, shapes of the apes, shapes of the apes. Start with a child and hopefully we end up with something cool by the end just erase that because i'm seeing on this to be where my eyes will rest and then the muzzle will be here so the shape of that is something like this so in this stage it's all about finding the shapes and the general proportions of your subject you have its mother's hand over here and the shape of the hand crosses to somewhere here it's too dark Somewhere here, and we have this hand shape, and then some of the fingers coming in like so. Anyway, have you guys been? How was your Monday? Mine is going great, although I confess I did not want to draw today. I was this close, this close to writing a community post telling people, due to unforeseen circumstances, there will be no drawing today. We'll resume day 14 tomorrow. This close. Don't know what stopped. Oh, I know. I know. Because I didn't want to paint or draw today, my genius self decided to do something else I didn't want to do today, which is find a workout on YouTube and do that. So just because I didn't want to do one thing, I had to do now two things I didn't want to do. But I did complete the workout and because the workout was completed, I told myself, now since you've done that, that thing you didn't want to do, you will do this other thing as well. It's more or less the same. And that's why we're here. I was also tempted to like go through my, my jar and find the easiest thing to draw today. This close. But as I told you in another video, I am not a liar. So everything is real time, real place. Therefore, here we are yet again with this orangutan. Orangutan. I don't know why I always thought it had an, a G at the end. So it's orangutan. Apparently not. So this is the gesture of the wooden panel they're sitting on. This reference will be available in the link in the description so that we can draw together if at all we are drawing together. I'm happy to report that the Discord has a logo that I did not design, sadly. I wanted to, but I decided to use a template on Canva. It's there to help me. It's there for a reason. I'm learning I don't have to do everything. I can let some things be done by others. So let me just zoom out. This is our quick gesture of, the, of our animals. If you wish, we can do something like this for the eyes, where the eyes are placed. This one has some half moons in the mouth. So I've switched to my 2B on a different layer. Now I want to like look at the reference like really, really, really close. So that's what, that's what I'm doing today or right now. We might paint this, but I'm not yet sure exactly our approach today. Stay tuned. I'm currently using the 2B uh, pencil on the SK2 brush pack. And for those joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm painting, drawing, sketching, all these things in Krita, which is a free and open source application for making digital art. You can find it on krita.org. Why Krita? Well, first reason I just said it's free. Second reason it's free and it's new and it's shiny, at least to me. So that makes it very, a very attractive application. I mean, it's in and I'm already seeing the mistakes, but I think we can correct them as we go along. It's mostly proportional. I feel like these features should be 
bit higher somewhere here hopefully that's correct and we can come in with our muzzle our upper lip here decrease the brush get in the mouth crease and do the lower lip something like sats then we have the chin 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 over here chin is slightly in shadow barely see it the eyes are definitely going to change so they don't look like how they are in the reference a tuft of hair over here hair over here and that hair shape then this probably should go like this a sparse hair thing here and then another tuft of hair oh that's nice sort of looks like those uh museum things of Australopithecus and Homo erectus and we have the baby big baby baby's brow ridge starts here it makes a circle makes another circle over here then i'm looking at the eyes like sort of some half moons i think i did that justice but it's okay it's okay and from there sort of this can fold and another distance and the nose and nostril goes like this which makes the mouth go much lower than our you know gesture sketch so the nose starts here muzzle goes like this this and cut this and then our upper lip will be here shrink the brush so we get the crease and we get the lower lip by just adding in the shadow of the lower lip as the upper part of the lower lip is being lit by the by the light so some parts of my gesture will have to move so if i go to my gesture layer i can do something like this let's put it there so that this hand it goes from the shoulder bicep no, that's wrong it's wrong the shoulder is here I have a bicep over here and i'm looking at this negative shape we have the forearm crosses the bottom of the muzzle and then this leads into the hand over there what's a negative shape you ask well you might have not asked but because we are a slightly educational part of the internet i will tell you a negative shape is the shape between two well, positive shapes so for example this is my hand you even see this let me check my camera this is my hand the positive shape will be the shape my hand makes the negative shape is this part the spaces in between my fingers and this space and this shape over here so if this were a silhouette the negative shape will be anything that does not make up the actual thing you're drawing so in our reference this is the negative shape i'm referring to also this could be a negative shape but not really because it does make up the mother's body so something like this also is a negative shape and so on etc that concludes our slightly educational bit of the of the video another slight educational thing is did you know that of all the apes the orangutan is the probably the smartest after humans although some humans are um they're there they are they they're human some humans are human but some orangutans are very very smart and if you've ever seen one of these on a show shows such as a uh, planet earth some of them might make you cry either that or david attenborough attenborough will tell you something like and we humans have destroyed their habitat in 20 years there might be no more orangutans left in borneo borneo something like that usually <laughs> let me know if i'm wrong in the comments <laughs> It's not it's it's not a laughing matter that we are destroying the planet but i currently cannot watch planet earth or any nature documentary because there's always that reminder that david says i should be doing something about it and i'm just a guy in a rural town trying to draw on the internet i don't know what to do david so there's that so now i might ignore the mother's hand but i cannot ignore the the baby's ear some hair going like this Let's keep it something like that and then continue 
the shoulder, the back, then we have some hair projections over here. Then we have that negative shape we talked about somewhere there. Because this is the other hand of this mama. I think this would be a gesture video, more or less. More or less to be a gesture video. So sorry for misleading you, thinking that we're going to paint this. It's to be a slightly shorter video than we used to but in all honesty Mondays are the days that I do my gesture studies I know you should be doing them every day but I like doing them on Monday because because when the sun shine we'll shine together because Mondays are usually very busy and I need uh, gestures are the only things I can manage to draw on Monday. So again, sorry for misleading you. If I said we might paint, uh, we'll do that tomorrow, the tomorrow's animal. I also got a request on the, in the comments that someone would like to see more photorealistic drawing. And I think we can do that, but probably very, very late in this game, like in the final vi vinyl. In the final piece, I can try and uh, make it like a whole day thing. Record the process. I might not talk as much, but I can I can try and do a finished uh, illustration for the last one. Although I don't know if it will take us a day or two. That's something. Maybe on a layer on top, I can try and add a bit of shading, especially in the very dark areas the brow bigger brush for the hairs so we'll keep these in one group and just to so we don't have a really really short video we can do another one so let me look for another reference I'll be sure to add all the links to the references in the description we'll probably need like two or three more two or three more real quick yeah so these are some other references we'll do again two or three more if we have time we'll do all of them a little baby so a gesture for that, maybe hide this. I like this one. It's an SK2 flat gradient. I I will look for where I got this in case you're interested. Try and retrace my steps. Link this brush back in the video description. And start with this light gesture. It's just the flow of the hair. And then we have some more hair in the shoulder over here. And the neck thin and connects like this and the other shoulder over there we have the eye over here it's like a little cartoony piece of hair it looks n it looks nothing like the reference so far a bit of negative space down here and then the hand comes in like this it's eating some sort of nut this one is difficult. This one is difficult. Find a way to finish this. So let's go back to this one. This uh, 2B brush. To look at this a bit more. Just include our eyelid over here and our eye socket. The eye is a sphere. It's a bit white at the edge. Then we have something like this. Then we have the nose. And I think this is where I was going wrong. But this part should be somewhere here. So this exercise is really useful when you want to practice your proportions like me. Ideally, according to most people, most uh, artists you'll find on YouTube and beyond, they say that gesture drawing should be like really quick. But sometimes I disagree with that because I feel you can do gestures the way you want as long as they are readable, which is the main essence of all of this anyway, that the figure be readable. That's enough for this one. Put this in his own group. Go to the next one. With this guy, this swinging guy. Back to our gesture brush. Oops. Oh my gosh. Ooh, forgot to breathe for a moment. So, this guy swinging from the tree. I hope my editing will not uh, remove most of this uh, drawing. But since I wasn't talking, I'll try and put this as a time-lapsey bit. 
wonder whether this disc like shape of the face serves any like purpose in its survival and remember david saying anything about the shape of the head temptation to leave it like this is great it's great it's overwhelming overwhelming i'm succumbing i am succumbing to the temptation yep it's enough it's enough for this particular ape maybe let me give him the rope he's hanging from and he has no fingers because i refuse give them to him okay there some rudimentary thick fingers but no toes stop doing that i keep saying no things and then i keep adding those things okay he has some toes that's enough that's enough stop it stop drawing okay <laughs> it's like my brain is refusing to work okay let me do this keep the baby over here with there keep this guy somewhere here let's see the first one so this one should move probably there and let's do one more hopefully i speak during this one so here's the last one it's going very i want to say rough trying to be accurate with what i am seeing not what i think is there this guy looks like he knows things he has secrets secrets to keep do the same thing we did in the beginning with the mouth and then a line for the crease of the mouth and a shadow for the bottom lip i think that really works with the other pen not this one okay for the head guy is really hairy ear is over here probably probably not i air ear i'm just moving really quickly with this one because most of it most of its shape is round i think that's it for this one put him here we could add one more but i think that's enough for the day let's highlight our family because this was the original thing we wanted to do and that's basically it yeah unfortunately we could not paint today and uh, that's that's all on me that's my fault but i'm thankful that we were able to do some gestures uh, this is an hour long session mm, probably could have done it a bit faster but that's all practice is for we need to what's the word i'm looking for i don't know practice we need to practice anyway that's it guys just add a bit of shadow over here for this part of our animal anyway, that's it for today if you like the video like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you tomorrow where i promise we will paint and uh yeah See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Two thumbs up. Bye-bye.